Hey everyone, I'm Jenny and I blog at thedomesticwildflower.com and in this video I'm going to teach you some key differences between steam canners and water bath canners. So water bath canners and steam canners use the same basic principles to preserve high acid foods into glass jars. They both use heat to bring the inside of the jars up to over 212 degrees to kill spoilers and germies inside and outside of the jars so that your jars are free from spoilers and create a vacuum seal that seals those glass jars so they can be on your shelf for up to a year or more. So they use the same, um, same heat to create that safe environment but they do it in a little bit different way. So a water bath canner is, um, has been used for a really long time and has pro it probably is what you would remember if you think about canning and you think about like grandma canning when you were a kid or um, the kind of canning you're probably more familiar with. So it's a pot. Sometimes they're black and white speckled enamel and bigger than this pot and they have some sort of rack inside, either a wire rack that you pull out with handles, or like I have a silicone trivet in the bottom of mine. Okay, so that's a water bath canning setup. If I were using this to water bath can, I would put hot food into hot jars and put the jars into this pot, and they would be covered with boiling water. And then I would process them for a set amount of time, and then I would pull them out and then they would be canned. A steam canner is a different type of pot and it looks like more, but it's not, it's actually less. So there's a lid and the lid has a dial on top, a temperature gauge that tells you how hot it's getting inside of the pot. And really it's not a pot at all. It's more like a, like a narrow or a shallow saucepan. So it's just a pan and a rack that comes with it that keeps the jars from rattling around on the bottom. And to fill this, you use two and a half quarts. So it just fills it up just over the top edge of this, like by half an inch. So that's all the water you need. And the lid goes on top and the gauge will tell you when enough heat has been created within for you to start the processing time. So the main difference that I think is really, really attractive is that this takes minutes to come to boiling, like a few minutes. And this can take, or the bigger speckle pot, I didn't even wanna bring mine in because it's so big, can take 20 or 30 or 40 minutes, depending on how high you are in, um, in elevation and depending on how much water you have in the pot, it can, the steam canner can cut your time in more than half, um, depending on those factors. So uh, the steam canner does have a few limitations that are important to understand. So for example, um, you can't boil or process this pot, the steam canner, for more than 45 minutes because the water will end up evaporating. There's only that much water and so it would run dry. So that means that you probably wouldn't choose a recipe that requires a really long processing time to can in a steam canner because you would run out of water. So that's when the regular water bath canner would come in and be, and be valuable. Um, another point to think, consider is if you were at a fairly high elevation and thus you would have to adjust for your altitude by adding five minutes for every thousand feet. So let's say that you were at 7,000 feet elevation. That's five minutes, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes of extra processing time, regardless of steam canner or water bath canner, you have to add that many minutes to your cook time. And if you live at 7,000 feet, you probably know that you'd have to adjust the amount of time your brownies are in the oven and how long it takes to cook everything because you're just higher up in the atmosphere. But that said, that means that you could only sensibly process items that have a 10 minute processing time 
in a theme canner. So that kind of narrows the number of recipes that would be useful to you um, or, or practical for you to can in a seam canner. If you are above 7,000 feet elevation, a seam canner might be, might be handy if you were canning, um, if you frequently canned recipes that were 10 minutes or five minutes long of processing time. Um, Another advantage to steam canning is that they are so lightweight. So this is made of aluminum. I believe you can buy steam canners that are of a heavier metal, but this one's aluminum and it's very lightweight. And the weight of just two and a half quarts of water is very manageable. So even if I were, let's say if I had just um, gone through a kind of surgery or if I, um, I had a C-section. I remember I was really, I was afraid to lift anything just to strain any of my abdominal muscles. If I had any condition at all that made it harder for me to lift something heavy, steam canning is the hot ticket. That would be such a saving grace, I think, to have a canning apparatus that is lightweight. Furthermore, another advantage to steam canning is that because there's less potential for a messy boil over with the steam canner. If you have a big pot of a lot of boiling water and it starts to boil over, there, there's potentially a lot of water going to go all over your stovetop and potentially on your floor and can create kind of a big mess. This has less of that potential. Um, emptying this is again, lighter and safer than hauling a really heavy kettle to the stove where it's still probably pretty hot, right? Um, I think there's many, many advantages to the steam canner, but those I think are the, the key ones and the key differences between the two. I hope you found this video really valuable.